it's Corbin here from AcousticWorld.net and I wanted to share with you a little uh, concept that you can take from Norman Blake's playing um, which has certainly had a big influence on me and it's this idea of uh, walking into chords from quite a distance away so doing like a walking bass type lick um, but starting relatively far away from the chord that you're going to end on so he does this a lot with uh, the c chord it's probably the easiest one to start practicing this on so you'll hear him start a lot of songs like sound pretty similar. The only difference being that uh, in the first version, the emphasis is on the third. Uh, and in the other version, the emphasis is on the root note, which is C. I use both of them all the time and I'll just kind of teach them to you because they're a great way to uh, spice up your playing with some walking bass licks, especially if you're in the key of C uh, or even if you're in the key of G and moving into a C chord, you can also use these. So I have a capo here on the third fret, um, but the first one is relatively easy. Probably a, a bunch of different ways to play it, but I play it like the only only the first note is being picked on each string, so it's the open E, and then you're hammering on, and then you do the same thing on the next string. efficient because I usually just use all downstrokes uh, down to this open G which you end on. perfect position to just end on that C chord. So it's a very kind of economical and efficient look for anything, you know, again, related to that C chord. incorporating it into your playing through the changes like that. So that's the first version, and the, the second one is pretty similar, um, but it's a little more chromatic, and again, it emphasizes the root note rather than ending on this. It ends like that. Um, so, and you start it the same way. then these notes are all picked, at least I pick all of them. And it's just a chromatic, again, walking bass. And you end on that root note of the C. just, you know, two licks you can start adding into your playing today uh, to make your, you know, C chords and uh, any songs in the key of C a lot more interesting and kind of infuse them with that Norman Blake type influence. Uh, but I would encourage you to try applying it to other chords, you know, try walking into the G. Or you can also 
also walk down, like in the D chord, I'll do that a lot. take that take that same idea and really make it your own so let me know how it goes for you and i'll see you next time